Yeah, lads. Now, I'm in a bit of a predicament because I was going to do my oil today, and but the weather isn't really the best. Now, I don't know if to put it off for another day or not because yesterday I put it off and today turned out being worse than yesterday, so tomorrow might turn out to be even worse than today. So I think I'm just going to crack on with it. It's only spitting a little tiny bit and it looks like it might clear up. So I'm going to start doing it. Um, hopefully it doesn't start pissing it down. But <laughs> you never know with these things. Car things are always a pain in the fucking house. Before you crack on to anything to your car which, which leaves it immobilised, Always make sure you've got access to a different car or you've got a friend to take you somewhere just in case you need parts last minute and you can't drive yours. Someone's draining oil out in, I just got that for a pound. Some oil, uh, the Fiesta's take 5W30, make sure it's fully synthetic and it takes around 4.7 to 4.8 litres. So I got 5 litres. Um, oil filter. This was a Bosch one. Um, decent and now one of the tools to remove them I'll go over in a second which is the best tool to use um, but for this one I using this one I'll explain why it went underneath the car and last but certainly not least a jack and jack stands Because once you've got the car jacked up, it comes straight underneath. You can see the oil filter is there. And the drain plug is just on the edge. Just there. Now the reason I'm using this tool is can you see how it's gapped with lines? See the lines going down? That makes it look that to me makes it feel like it'll grip in better. Whereas if you see the new filter, the new filter shaped like that. See how it's shaped like a nut? So therefore when I'm getting this one off, I'm gonna definitely by the socket adapter because that will grip perfectly. Last time I did an oil change, this was a fucking bitch to get off. So hopefully today it comes off pretty nice and easy. But the first thing we're gonna do, drain the oil. Okay, so it's a 13 millimeter bolt. Gonna loosen it a little bit and then do the rest with your fingers and try and get it all in this drain pan. Fucking hell. It's a bit stubborn. Okay, so I was having trouble getting that off. So I've got my breaker bar out, hopefully this should do it. Okay, so the breaker bar didn't work. I just used brute force. Get it loose. And when you can start doing it with your finger, do it with your finger. You want to push against it while you're turning. And when you feel it's come completely loose, drag down that really quick. I'm probably going to mess this up though. When you can start twisting it with your hands, then take the ratchet off. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. I'm gonna let that all that drain out. Hopefully, I've got enough room in that bucket. I should do. So we're gonna let that all drain out. And then we're gonna try and get this filter off, which hopefully is not as a pain in the ass as that was. 
should be all right. That's why we change our oil because of that just came off the drain plug and that's what you don't want flying around in your oil it's a metal shaving so give this a bit white a bit of a white with some top we're not top but some white paper towels um, and then when that's all drained we're gonna put this back on okay so that's just dripping now so just wipe off oh no that is not good oh fuck's sake <laughs> oh no Right, I'm going to have to go and try and dig that out of there now. Fuck's sake, I'm going to go and get some gloves. Try and find some anyway. Okay, I've got a glove. That was probably a lesson, I should be using them anyway. Ugh. Okay, got it. Fuck's sake. Right, I need to get some paper towels. Bang that in there. Okay, back to where I was. It's great, there's a pool of oil on the floor now. Sick. So just wipe this, wipe it around. And then. Put the plug back in. Make sure it threads in nicely. So deep by hand first, and then tighten with a socket. If I can find my socket. Why does this always happen? Okay, so in my in thinking myself online, it was 18 foot pounds top. So think of that as in tight. But not too tight. So uh, the way I do it is I get to I get to ha like hand tightness, and then do about half a turn or quarter turn, just like that, just till it's snug. You don't need it any 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 more than that. So we've got our oil out. Now it's time for the poison chalice. No, I'm, I'm actually not joking. This is either going to be fun, or I'm going to be here for about three hours. Hopefully I'm not going to be here for three hours. Oh, I don't want to do this. I just remember the, the nightmares of what happened last time when I was underneath the car for literally three hours wrestling with this fucking filter. Right, anyway, and you want to put it... That's the fattest setting. I would go the smallest setting. It's not really a big filter. Um, remember, lefty loose it, righty tighty. Uh, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Hopefully it doesn't piss me off too much. At least I've got a little bit more room than I did in the Astra. So you want to just try and grip it as hard as you can? Oh, no. Oh, that was really easy. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh my God. I don't, don't you don't believe how happy I am right now? Yes, that was so easy. Wait, hang on, Lee. You've not done it yet. All right, it's moving. That's all that matters. Get a massive right tip. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. So fucking happy. See, this is the danger. This is the danger with these ones. Because see how you like cut into it. And what happens is, if you've been doing that for a while and it doesn't spin, you're obviously gripping tighter, and it actually pierces it to a point where oil start bursting out and if you can't get that off uh, and you've pierced it you can't drive the car uh, what will happen is if, if, if that's pierced and you turn the car on it'll just psh, split out everywhere um, so that's what the brick and eye happened last time um, I was using these it was not spinning I pierced it in like several places I had no uh, and I couldn't get to a garage because um, I couldn't tow my car because all my family were away um, I couldn't drive the car obviously, I couldn't push it because it was like three miles away, I'm not pushing it three miles. So I literally, I hate, this is this is why I hate these things because I was stood there for three hours wrestling with it. I cut all my fingers off, I thought I like, thought a disc hit in my throat, it was fucking horrendous. But thank you Mr Fiesta. So get your bucket, put underneath because more will drip from there. And then once you can get it by hand, same sort of thing as a drain plug, 
push it up until you feel it come really loose and then drop it oh well I thought that up big time well yeah okay that just happened ah oh, fuck just bang that in there it's all going to the same place okay so that's the hard bit done Oof, that was actually really easy to be honest uh, I'm actually quite impressed how that went that was Really, as far as oil changes go, that was probably one of the easiest I've ever done. What you want to do is get your new oil filter. Get your new oil. Okay. You just want to put... Some people say do this. Um, some people say do this, some people say don't do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, just because you know, I just don't see the the uh, negative effects of not doing it to be honest. Well I, well, I can't see the negative effects of doing it. There we go, so I'm going to dip my finger in uh, and just put a little bit around the outside there. Should really be doing this with gloves by the way guys, um, but I don't have any. So dip and then just slip your on the rubber bit, fly it around. Some people like to pour a little bit of oil in the filter, but I'm not going to do that. So we've got a thin layer of uh, oil. What that does is it will just stop it. It will just lubricate the seal a little bit more. So, mainly the idea is so the next time you come get it off, it should be easier. But we're going to do it anyway. Once. Okay, so same again. Just hand tight. So hand tight. Tight, you can get it hand, hand tight. That's fine. And then fill up. In the handbook. Two litre Gervatec, including the oil filter, 4.3 litres. So that's a five litre bottle, we want to end up with 0.7 litres, but there may be some a little bit left in the system from before. So it's always good to go off the dipstick rather than the handbook. Uh, so I'm going to check the dipstick one more time. I've put about four litres in now, I'm going to check the dipstick one more time, uh, and then top of the cold from there. Again, it's always easier to put less in and keep topping up then to put too much in and then try and get it out. That's, you know, always go little and then add more. Okay, so I've put in dead on around 4.3 litres. Checking the dipstick, it is just over the high mark. Um, but once you start the engine and you get the, and you get the, uh, the oil flooded around and into the oil filter and stuff, that'll take up. So the last step is just to turn the car on and just check for leaks, especially around the filter and the drain plug. So. Okay guys, so it's now 11.15, so it took me just over an hour to do that. Um, that was including like running about. I mean, if you wanted to speed run it, you could probably do it in about 20 minutes. Um, that was really easy. It was really easy compared to the ones that I've done. Oh, hello. I can't see her. Really easy to the ones that I've done. Ones I've done. Um, really easy to do yourself. I mean, the hardest thing about it is just the fact that you don't have much clearance because you're on jack stands. If you had a, if you had a lift, that would be so easy. It's unbelievable. I mean, really cheap. I got the filter for six pound and the fuel for 20, like 20. Well, with a discount because you're a car parts so like 30% off every weekend, something stupid like that. <laughs> that needs to be done. I'm not, I, did no, I have no idea when the oil was last changed and that, but I'm glad it's done now. Uh, like the video, with more to come. Subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.